everybody. Uh, today I am recording a tutorial on how to use the editor widget. If you're in the training, you saw me actually using it and explain it, but this is in case you forgot or maybe you forgot just a uh, part of it. So when you, when you log in and you go to your page that you're actually editing, uh, I'm not going to go through how to get the pop out over here because you should already know that. Uh, I'm going to click on widgets and the editor widget is right up here. Now right now there is at least one editor widget on the page that I'm, that I'm using which is our DCTV23 page. If I scroll down then I'll be able to tell yeah this whole section in here is one editor widget. So you can use multiple editor widgets or you can use one and just put everything in it. Um, so you can obviously do type or text uh, and you can format it uh, right here this is obviously a different font and, and uh, size and color this is where you change that where it says normal you can choose headline subhead one subhead two or just normal text I wouldn't change it to hyperlink it will do it automatically if you are doing a hyperlink you can see that this is formatted as a hyperlink because that's what it is uh, if I want to edit this, you can take a look and see that it takes you to our streaming website. Uh, and then the text is whatever you want to make it. And I want it to open in a new tab. If I wanted to do that from scratch, this is how you can do it. I'm going to make me a, a little bit of room. And I'm going to say Civic Engage. I'm going to highlight this text and to do a link you go to the icon that looks like a chain link and you hover over any of these and it'll tell you exactly what it is. So I'll click there. Now I don't have the URL yet so here's what I'm going to do. I have another tab open and I'm going to click here. This is the, the page that I want that link to take us to so I'm going to Select it, copy, go back here, paste it. The text is already exactly what I want, and I want it to open in a new tab. I open everything in a new tab, except for if it's taking me somewhere within the website where a person's probably not going to try to get back to this page. But any other website, any document, anything that, that is going to take them somewhere else I want it to open in a new tab so I'm going to hit insert and there it is now I can test it by hitting this icon here it says open link and there it is so it worked perfectly I'm going to delete that and then we can also do pictures uh, and to do that you can you click it um, you navigate to your folder and then you find your picture and insert it. If you need to add images, you click here. Uh, there's a tutorial on, on how to do all of this, I believe, so I'm not going to go over that right now for uh, this particular tutorial. Um, you can do the same thing with documents. Uh, and the other thing that I wanted to talk about is something we didn't talk about in the training. And that's right here. This is actually a table that it was created within the editor widget. And you would use this icon here to do it. Um, so I'm going to click this. Uh, when I, let, me, let me decide where I want it first. So I'm going to hit enter, get some space, click on the insert table. And let's say we want it to be, you can do as many as you want. You see it expands as you go down. Now let's just say we want three and four. So you can't really see the cells yet. You actually have to type in here. And I'm just going to say header one. And I use the tab to go to the next cell. Header two, tab, header three. Now I'm just doing this 
willy-nilly because <laughs> the formatting is obviously not not exactly right I'd probably capitalize all of that but I'm not worried about it and just to show that you can go to I'm just using tab for everything uh, I'm going to show you all the cells that we have by putting something in each one all right so there we go and then you can do uh, a little bit of formatting with the actual uh, cells here um, and I haven't done it in a while so it's it's pretty new to me um, but it's pretty much self-explanatory those are all highlighted so I can you know change the background to whatever color I want um, you can select your text and um, do formatting with the text itself so we might want to create a, a subhead up here so that the, the text is bigger but you get the idea so that's that's how you do this um, if you want to get rid of it you just hit the trash can and it's gone so that's one of the, the many cool things you can do with the editor widget um, it, it's very much like any word processing uh, software so I mean the formatting and the you do bullet points uh, you can do custom indenting centering you know alignment there's just a lot of things you can do with it so play around with it uh, and if you have any questions specific questions on how to use it please let me know and remember every time you do anything within an editor widget uh, you probably know this or remember it you have to come over here and click the yellow box with the check mark boom and normally it'll go pretty quick uh, that took a little bit longer than normal and then you're gonna save it so make sure you do those two steps after you uh, work inside of the editor widget again if you have any more questions specific questions about certain things on here just let me know